Update 1.9 for Clash Mini is bringing gizmos, and today we're going to be taking a look at all 10 of the gizmos in Clash Mini, what their abilities are, what they're going to be doing on the field, how they will affect your gameplay. So if you're new, subscribe, leave a like, and let's jump in to checking out all 10 of the gizmos. Gizmos will impact your mini's gameplay and your opponents based on which gizmo they played and also its placement. Now to deploy a gizmo, you need a certain amount of star upgrades on the board. Most of the gizmos require two stars to deploy and as soon as you have the star upgrades, you can place the gizmo on the board. Now, placement of these gizmos will matter because once you place them in the future rounds, you cannot remove them, you cannot sell them for another gizmo. So make sure whatever gizmo you pick is the one that's really going to benefit that battle the most. Now, I wouldn't prioritize defeating the other person's gizmo as it's not needed to defeat the person once you knock out all of their minis or heroes on the board. Now, each gizmo has a different trophy requirement, so all you have to do is reach that trophy requirement and you unlock that gizmo on that trophy road. Now, all gizmos are available at 550 trophies, so it's not that many trophies that you actually need to be able to get all gizmos, play them all of them, and you know, pretty much see what is gonna be the best gizmo for you, for your deck. At the start of the match, both players have mirrored gizmos, so there's no RNG, no I, you know, I got this gizmo, this guy got this gizmo, he got the pump, I got the puncho muncho, and I was just punching and he was pumping, you know, all of that is gonna be taken away. When it comes down to which player picked what gizmo versus the person who picked the other gizmo, uh, at the end now the first gizmo we're gonna be taking a look at is the hot pot now the hot pot spawns a potter mini that does 10 damage initially but it decreases every hit after by two but the twist is if you destroy the hot spot before the timer ends the potter will not spawn now next is the elixir collector which i personally think is going to be one of the biggest game changing gizmos in clash mini the elixir collector will pump one elixir every few seconds which you will be able to use in the next round now the reason i said the elixir collector is a game changing gizmo is because before, if you had a deck that had multiple four elixir costing minis, it was really hard to actually be able to cycle those in. You'd have to have a cycle mini, which is like a two elixir mini, which is kind of like your throwaway mini. But now with the elixir pump, you'll be able to have more than one four elixir costing mini. And even then, we could maybe potentially have minis coming to the game that cost more than four elixir. All right, now next is Muncho Puncho, and this gizmo has a lot of health. It knocks back, it can stun enemy minis, which is really great. You could use it as a front line, you could use it as a back line, maybe to defend that archer, maybe to help, uh, you know, if you put the shield mate in the front, you know, the possibilities are endless, but this is one of those gizmos that's kind of, you know, kind of helpful depending on what you're running and uh, what you're trying to be able to accomplish. All right, now next is Pocket Artillery, and this thing is crazy, dude. This thing, Rocket, this rock goes off at, at, like, at a certain time, goes off, does a lot of damage to one particular unit but also to splash damage so like even if like you have the shield maiden or the mini the big pekka actually not the mini pekka you know uh, one of those minis that has a lot of health surrounded by smaller minis you got that rocket going off and it's gonna land and just do so much damage oh my gosh i can't believe this is gonna be a cool uh gizmo that's coming to the game all right now next is the sauna and Mick didn't upload the video, but I kind of feel like it's the sleeper, the sleeper gizmo. Now, what this gizmo does is pretty much if you use a mini as like a, you know, like you want this mini to get knocked out early so that it could come back, have super powers. It's going to have super powers. It's going to be super powerful. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, it's going to have a lot of power. It's going to do more damage. It's going to have more health. It's, it's going to be super powerful. All right. All right. Now, next is the St. Mirror, which for me and Anna, I think a lot of other people is going to be the answer for clash abilities. If you have a spear goblin, bowler, prince, try and get that other person to, you know, put the mini on the St. Mirror because the damage that that mini does will get reflected on it. So instead of, you know, the spear goblin taking out your archer in the corner, it's going to take out itself. You know, it's a self-inflicting uh gizmo which i think will be the great answer for clash ability minis now next is the pancaker which this gizmo gives healing and attack speed to the farthest mini from it and it'll keep doing that as long as it's alive now next is the training camp now the training camp is just like the barbarian's roar ability where the minis to the left and right of it get a speed and attack boost damage for the entire time 
that the training camp is up. It doesn't matter if the mini goes away. They still have that ability on them unless the training camp is taken down. Now, next is the War 2, which gives surrounding minis invincibility. They can't be slowed. They can't get stunned. They can't get any of those controlling effects. Now, Gishi covered the War 2. I will leave that video down in the description below next to the like button. Now, the War 2, I feel like it's a good gizmo just because it'll stop the E-Wizard. It'll stop the Ice Wizard. Uh, it'll stop... Pretty much anything that does these controlling effects. Now, lastly is the King's Tower. Now, the King's Tower, you won't be able to get it in the first round because it requires four stars. But once you do, it'll be the gizmo that attacks other gizmos primarily. Then, it'll be able to attack minis on the board. It has a range of four tiles, so it's actually pretty good uh, radius to be able to attack. You can put it in kind of like the mid, maybe in the front. Uh, to actually, you know, do some damage. Now, that is all the gizmos coming to Clash Mini in this next update. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite gizmo. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you missed any of my other Clash Mini sneak peek content, check out the videos over here, and I'll see you guys in there. Peace out.